job. I've seen already some of the results, but who would like to go first and show what they have done today to the rest of the group? Would you like to go first? Yeah? Good. Um, you come over here. We have a mini HDMI. Uh, boo. What is mini HDMI? Is it this? No. Yeah, or. Uh, it turns out they have mini HDMI. No? Oh, I thought they have all the smart cards out. Can that record webcam or show webcam image? Can, you sh can this, is there a webcam on this machine? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, we'll give it a try. The standard Windows webcam uh, cam, so it's webcam. Video LAN, uh, VLC. VLC, yes, VLC player. Never lets you down. And then you say playback, open, capture device. And the device is called the yes, USB 2. Play. Um, that should work. Sorry? Uh, play? No. Ah. Uh, play? Oh, there we go. Device. Uh, stream. Oh no! Oh, hey, there it is. Oh, oh. Da. Okay. Oh. Just a second. Figuring out the techniques. Okay, so what we've all been working on is um, hacking a webcam, just a regular webcam you can connect to your computer, and so that it becomes a microscope. It's installed under there somewhere. Okay, so we'll try to remove the top layers so we can show what's under there. Okay. So there's a little lens in there from the webcam, but it's turned the other way so that it will magnify instead of make it smaller. This way we can see we can see the microbes. And the whole idea for each group is to make a little game or something like that that re that uh, interacts with the microbes. Now, what we've made up is, yeah. <laughs> if you move the joystick, it will activate certain LEDs, certain uh, light bulbs. And the trick here is, in here are little microbes that respond to light. So when light's turned on, they, they will try to swim away from it, uh, theoretically. <laughs> and by that you can use a joystick to move the cells, to move the microbes. The idea of the game is that it will show a capture point somewhere. As long as there are microbes in the capture point, you will get points get uh, points as in score. At some point the game will be over, you see your score, but theoretically it's making a capture point and keeping a track of score, but we haven't really finished anything yet. Sorry about that. I hope uh, that will some show something better. Can you show it on the other machine? Sorry? Can you show it on the other machine or is it also not Oh, um, yeah, we could show the interface.
It's fine enough. Thank you very much. Are there are there some questions maybe from the from the audience about this uh, this setup? You have a question? Yeah. I said you cut your lens, right? You did something weird with it. Uh, yeah, that too. That's something um, he came up with. We saw that the image was way too big. You just saw a very small portion of the microbes, and each microbe took up a large portion of the space. Um, okay, now the image is stuck. Ignore that, please. In our case, they're very small, so you see a lot of microbes within the area. We did that by making the lens itself, the tube of the lens, shorter, so it'll be close to the camera. That way it magnifies less, or more, one way or the other. It works better. <laughs> well, it's a big achievement, right? So, huh? Thank you, great hack. Um, all right, uh, which team would like to present next? Is there uh, somebody who's eager to share with the rest what happened and what you've done? And don't be shy because we've been together the whole day. So, ah, the next volunteer, great. Please come over to the stage. Uh, let's see. Do you want to use this machine or the other one? No, we can use this one. Yeah? Oh, but uh, maybe I have a day, so, oh, okay, 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 I'll be back in five minutes. Um, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first, tell us your names. João, Lucas. Well, João and Lucas, uh, what did you what did you make today? Um, well, we made uh, an, another game with the, the the microbes, and our game is basically we ha we set this bar on the screen. And every five seconds, the bar changes its position. And uh, f to make points, you have to pass as much microbes as you can in the direction that we show in the screen. And in one minute. So in the end of the minute, it scores your high score. And that's basically the game. Uh, we have it. We can make it run. We are also on the screen. So now it's supposed to start working. We ha we had have some problems with the with identifying the the cells because they are quite small, and a lot of times they just don't uh, recognize them. Which right now they're not recognizing. Oh, they're so uh, as every time a, s a cell passes through through the line in that direction, it's getting points. When it recognizes and yeah that, that's basically it. Great. super cool uh, have you already got a name for your game no. <laughs> any was any suggestions borderline, borderline. <laughs> okay well give them a hand of applause Oh, or any questions? I forgot. Any any questions? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, there. Each we have four buttons here. I don't know if you can see. 
and each one of them uh, gets a light from either the top sides or to the from the bottom and uh, the cells they tend to move away from the light so you put a uh, you put a light and you kind of controls the, the direction they're going so the idea is to always like put the light and all the cells are gonna pass through the direction that you want to get points Oh, thanks. Uh, who else wants to present? Who's next? Yeah, come on up. I'm back. Thanks. Hey, we zit bij die filming zo op Yeah, we moeten wel internet hebben. Yeah. Yeah. No, die zit nu in het kluisje. Yeah. Kan ik hem niet uit het kluisje halen? Ja, oh, helemaal goed. Er zit hier wel web op, toch? <laughs> of niet? Haal hem eens even. Ja, leuk. Ja. Okay, so introduce yourself. So, hi, I'm Benito. And this afternoon, I have been working in the BioGame project. Um, uh, we did... Uh, okay. um, we did also the microscope. Uh, I focus on, the, on a way to recognize the bacteria. I implement the algorithm in C Sharp because, well, it's the language that I use. Uh, well, this is more or less the, my progress in the afternoon. I started playing with the libraries to get the camera, the camera works on Linux and C Sharp. And then uh, I started to get the image in black and white in order to recognize the, the borders. And I re-implement the algorithm to detect the, the segment of the image that are more uh, black than the other part of the image, and also the, the contours that can be detected with OpenCV. Uh, well, finally, missing one of them, we can detect the bacteria, and a final uh, improvement has been to source square that, that were uh, statically, that were changing because, well, maybe some that some is because of the lens or something like that, so we remove them and just uh, get the, the square that actually are moving. Um, well. so, so in a quick implementation, I uh, store all the squares and also a counter, frame counter. So uh, every time I check that the in order to show the square, it has to, it didn't appear like uh, less than the 20% of the time. So if the, in that position, that square has been more than 20% of the time, just yes, skip it. Uh, well, this is a live uh, application running right now. We can see more or less the bacteria that are running for the lens. Yeah. One more question. 
Uh, will you share your code uh, on the GitHub? Yes, I can so I can share. Yeah, so. Actually, also to the other guys with the other game, I would I was wondering. Sharing is fun. Yep. Have you tried to add a dilate operator to the image to get the like the points even bigger, so they get, can be detected? Because sometimes when you get an image, if there is some in the line, some point that is cut by the a black uh, pixel, you get like two different items. So if you make the the square the, like the the white squares bigger, they join together, so you have like a big blob. Of information. Yeah, it could be uh, <laughs> an improvement. Are there more questions? No? In that case, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, do we have one more? Or is it? No? No more pr uh, updates, presentations? Then I would like to show you one video. And this is also just on the main stage where the big applause was for. Actually, it was for you. So I'll show you uh, the video as well. It's a, a summary of what uh, happened today, but then in just 45 seconds. So let me set that up. Right, so I think it was really a great and fun day. We all, I think we all learned a lot from trying this out. Actually, this was for us the first time we did it, and actually us means. Uh, Christian, please come to the stage. And uh, Roland, and Frido, where are you? And Fede, uh, Shamira, she already left, but uh, uh, she also helped us. And of course, Ingmar, you know, our big inspirator. You. Uh, <laughs> you also helped us out with your advice and also the great inspiration of presentations and all the knowledge and skills. Um, thank you. Let's have a big hand for the whole team. Thank you very much. And also for the teams that want to continue with their kit, please uh, keep it and uh, keep developing it and sh keep sharing your code. We're curious to, to know about what you're going to do. Um, if you're not going to use it, please give it back. Because uh, next week, Friday, we're going to go to the uh, Delft Festival of Technology the, uh, in Delft and uh, do another uh, biotic gaming uh, event. So, well, maybe we'll see you there. And Chris, yeah? And if you need some Euglina, just go to the Open Lab Lab Days and Peter will provide you with uh, some new Euglina because we somehow manage them now keeping keeping them alive so if you want them you can just uh, feel free to uh, drop by by this awesome uh, open that lab all right yes every tuesday evening we're open for you to uh, join us in amsterdam in the waag so yeah that was it for now thank you very much also for attending uh, for putting all your effort into it and we hope to see you again yeah.